Good morning. Today we're here at Costco in Florence, Kentucky. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Costco here, I'm going to come right to the turkeys. We got some comments on the Farmer's Choice turkeys. They do have them, the organic young turkeys. $3.49 a pound, pretty pricey. Also, limit five on either of these. They do have the Butterball for $0.99 cents a pound. That's a good deal. They do have the Kirkland smoked turkeys here. They are $4.49 a pound. Kind of the same style as they have at Sam's Club. Still pretty pricey on these. Uh, Butterball is about the best deal they got here, $0.99 cents a pound. They do have the small Kirkland Signature ABF turkey breast, four fifty nine dollars a pound. We got some good comments on this right here. They also got their sockeye salmon back in. We got some comments on this. This was fantastic. It is $12.99 a pound. A little pricey, but at least they've got it in. Also, they've got their wild Pacific cod here. Uh, fillets previously frozen, $9.99 per pound. I'd say these look pretty good. And if you're looking for crab legs, fresh crab legs, shrimp, fish, they've got it all here at Costco. That's one thing I love about Costco. They have a lot of different fresh fish. Uh, here's some of the steelhead fillets. I'm not a big fan of the steelhead fillets. Uh, that one piece is $21.28, so a little pricey. $9.99 a pound, I guess, ain't too bad. Uh, let's see. Another one we got comments on was tilapia fillets. They've got these here. They are $5.99 a pound. Good price. We are always getting comments on the pies here at Costco. And I gotta say, I've never tried the pies here. We have at Sam's Club. Not here yet. We're gonna have to try some different ones. We have tried the cheesecake, and I gotta say, it's fantastic. They do have the apple pie here. A little more pricier than Sam's Club. Uh, $14.99 for that. And they have the pecan pie here, $16.99. And of course, they still have their enormous pumpkin pies here. Actually, they're about the same size as these, but they're all huge. Uh, $5.99 for these pumpkin pies, though. We have gotten great comments on these. $5.99, you can't beat that. Up front and center here, they still have their New York strip steaks here, USDA choice, $9.99 per pound. I gotta say, they do look pretty good. Um, and they have their beef loin, tenderloin, USDA choice, peeled extreme here. $21.99 a pound, so it's it's a little pricey, but this is as good as it gets. Filet mignon right here. I will say right off the bat, they have a lot more different meat choices than Sam's Club does. Um, it's a much bigger store than Sam's Club, at least ours. They do have their roast here for the same price as Sam's Club. Actually, it's a penny more. $4.99 a pound. Sam's Club is $4.98 a pound. So good to see they're keeping the prices down on this stuff still. They do have their Swift Rack of Pork Loin, Pork Loin Bone In, $3.49 a pound. These are really good. More importantly, they've got them back in. We saw where uh, these were very low the last time we were here. And they still have their rotisserie chickens for $4.99 as well. Sam's Club a penny cheaper. Well, they're cooking right now. And for those of you who want ham, they do have the Kirkland Signature ABF Spiral Sliced Ham, $3.49 a pound. Close to the same as what it is at Sam's Club. We got better comments on the Kirkland brand here, though. Um, they do have plenty of these. Been hard to find ham this year for Thanksgiving. I don't, and uh, really haven't found many good deals. The best deal that we found on ham this year was Cooks at Kroger for $1.79 a pound. Somebody left a comment the last time we went to Costco to check out the Premio Sweet Italian Sausages. Um, didn't see them the last time I was here. It is. Five pounds for $14.99. That seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, basically, four, four packs of them for $14.99. I had to try these some point. We also got comments on the Dietzel uh, ground turkey here. They do have it. It's the organic ground turkey. Two one and a half pound packages for $17.99. Wanted to go ahead and move over toward the produce, take a look at some of this stuff. They do have the five pound bags of mandarins here. For seven dollars and 39 cents about the same price as it was at sam's club and that's kind of what i'm noticing is a lot of prices on produce and meat and stuff it's very close they're very comparable when it comes to produce in the meat section one good deal and a little bit of savings actually on sale regular price 6.29 are these little creamer potatoes five pounds this week for four dollars and 29 cents that's a great deal another good deal are these peppers here you get two of each color 
uh, six total, $5.49. That makes these 91 cents a piece. It's not bad. 15 pounds of baking potatoes. Baking russet potatoes, which are a little thicker. Um, $9.69 for 15 pounds. I mean, that's about as good of a deal as we've seen. Well, I know they're out of season, but $10 for a watermelon is absolutely ridiculous. The Zespri three pound kiwi fruit went up here. They're $9.69 now. They were $8.98 or $8.99 the last time we were here. Uh, somebody had asked about them. They do have the three pounds of the green kiwi Zespri here, $7.39. That was the same price. I feel like a lot of produce at Costco and Sam's are very comparable to regular grocery stores or even more expensive for some things. Uh, $10 for two little watermelons. You can get these all day at Kroger for $3.99, sometimes a little less on sale. Two cantaloupes here for $5.79. That makes them $2.89 a piece. Uh, I know we've seen some places where they've been $3.29 and they are a little out of season, but uh, honeydew melon here. $4.99 is the highest I've ever seen it for one honeydew melon. $5.99 here. So, like I was saying, uh, you know, we're not, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the brand they get. It could be really good. I don't really know. All I know is, is that it's more expensive. They do have the Peruvian onions here. The sweet onions, five pounds for $6.49. That's $1.29 a pound. That's not the best we've seen, but it's not the worst. Now, as for yellow onions, here you get 10 pounds for $8.89. That brings it down to 88 cents a pound. That's a great deal. So we've gotten a lot of comments on sweet potatoes lately and how a lot of people haven't been able to find them. They do have them at uh, Costco here. It is six and a half pounds for $7.49. That makes it $1.15 a pound. So not too bad. Not the best we've seen, not the worst. Some of these apple prices are downright ridiculous. Four pounds of organic Fuji apples, $12.99. Organic Gala apples, $5.79. That's really the best price we've seen here so far. Uh, organic Gala apples, four pounds, $9.99. Honeycrisp apples, four pounds. Organic, $14.99. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I know when we got our cheesecake the last time, people were asking if they had the pumpkin cheesecake. I didn't see it. They have it in now. It is $17.99, so it's a dollar more than what the other cheesecake is. Um, I'm sure this is fantastic. I know the regular cheesecake is great. So we got some comments on the crescent rolls at Costco here, and people were saying they like these better. Uh, I like Sam's Club better. Um, I think they, they're a little more fluffy. Uh, these are good. I just, I don't know. There's something about uh, this. I like the way the, the Sam's Club ones kind of roll. They're not like the straight piece. They're, the, you know, these are good. Uh, not too much of a taste difference, really. I don't know. I just like the uh, consistency of the other ones. Same price, though. They do have their Campari tomatoes back in. I do have to say, these look fantastic. However, they are $4.99 for two pounds. We've been seeing these for about $2.49 a pound everywhere. So not much of a price break. Kind of continuing on what I've been saying is that, you know, you will pay right about the same price for produce at Costco than you will a lot of stores. But I know some people like certain brands that they may have here that they may not have at other stores. So I know I keep cycling back around different groups here, but this place is very crowded today, so I don't want to get in the way of people. Uh, some, some people are asking about the Kirkland brand organic ground beef. Uh, these are $19.99 a three pack. Uh, some people were saying you haven't been able to get them. And we got, they do have the bison in here too, the ground bison, $19.99. Uh, it's a two and a half pound cell unit. Um, so yeah, there are two packs, but they come out to two and a half pounds. And this one actually comes out to four pounds, which is a three pack unit. Lots of beautiful choices here, guys. Uh, they have the prime beef here. Uh, the beef tenderloin, beef loin tenderloin, it is $20.99 a pound. Filet mignon's expensive, especially these days. Uh, but they definitely have a good amount of steak here. They've got the beef loin, and now this is the choice, the choice cut. Obviously, the uh, prime cut's going to be a little better, but uh, choice cut is just fine. They also have the ribeyes here of the choice for $10.99 a pound. Sam's Club is $10.98. So it's like 
I, I feel like most things are like a penny more when it comes to produce and meat here. It's kind of funny how that works, but uh, let's see. They got the top sirloin, $7.99 a pound. We saw this at Kroger on sale for $8.99 a pound on sale. This is regular price here. So as I was trying to find some other Thanksgiving items, they don't really have like stuff grouped up like Sam's Club did or some other stores where they have like different items like stovetop and all that stuff kind of together. It's all spread out. I wish they had it more together. But I did find some good deals on coffee. They have the Pacific Bold and the Summit Roast of their 120 Keurig cups, uh, $30.99. That is $6 off. Regular price on these is $36.99. And the Folgers, uh, 43 and a half ounce. So it is the shrink flated. This used to be 51 ounces, but it is $9.89 down from $12.69. That's a great deal. So I checked another end cap here. We got some Del Monte. Uh, green beans. Now this is the 12 cans here. Regular price $10.69 on sale this week for $8.19. It's a great deal. I figured since I was close to the coffee we'd go ahead and check out some of the coffee here. Got some good comments on the uh, variety here of the different uh, Green Mountain products. Original Donut Shop. This is a mix here. 72 pods for $28.99 down from 36.49 that's a good deal they do have pike's place starbucks here 41.89 now this is on sale for 35 dollars uh, a little less than 35 dollars at sam's club keep that in mind and they also have the french roast here which we can never find the pods of the french roast at sam's club 41.99 for these it's funny that this one is a penny more than the pike's place now they do have the holiday blend, notes of sweet maple and herbs for $33.99. That's a pretty good deal. 72 pods, same amount. You have the Duncan 72 count here for $41.99 and they have the big 48 ounce, same as size as the one they have at Sam's Club for about the same price, $10.99 for that. That's a good deal. And they do have the 100% Colombian Kirkland brand back in. Um, a lot of people have been saying they haven't been able to find this. It is $15.99. That is up from $14.99 not that long ago, uh, but they're getting it in. And they have the Kirkland Signature Decaf, which we've gotten some comments on. This is three pounds for $15.99. It's funny because this has been $15.99 for a while. This was $14.99 and it just went up not that long ago. Now they're both the same price. This, I'm willing to bet this is probably going to go up another dollar here at some point. One nice thing about Costco is they do have the Tim Hortons three pound can of the ground coffee for $16.99. That's not bad. Uh, same price on the Dunkin', $23.59. Uh, it's not on sale anymore. It was on sale the last time we were here. Uh, more importantly, they're getting it. Now this is the 45 ounces. So that is much bigger than the 30 ounces that we see uh, for right about the same price at Kroger. Uh, the 30 ounces is $22.99, $23.59, and you're getting an extra 15 ounces here. I wanted to come back here to see if they had the other Del Monte canned vegetables on sale. Uh, it shows that this is a regular price on the peas at $8.69. Uh, I question that, but $8.29 for the corn uh, down from $10.79. So yeah, they definitely have a couple good deals going around on canned vegetables. Over here on another end cap, I see they do have their crispy onions here. Uh, $4.29 for a 24 ounce bag. That is down from $6.49. So $2 savings here before the holiday. Now guys, I'm telling you right now, we've gotten a lot of comments on the Kirkland Chunk Chicken Breast and how everybody loves it. Uh, the regular price was $15.59. Look at this. $12.79. $12.79 for the same six 12 and a half ounce cans. Uh, this is probably going to be the sale of the month. It was probably in the ad. Um, but twelve seventy nine, dollars uh, stock up on it, guys. It's definitely something you want to stock up on because fifteen fifty nine dollars here is the regular price usually. But we've been getting comments at other Costco's across the country that it's gotten really expensive. So keep that in mind. Uh, I came across the Idahoan Buttery Home Style. These are 12 packets of the 4-ounce packets of the potatoes. $10.99. That's a good deal. It makes them less than a buck a piece. We've been seeing these for... Uh, $1.25 to $1.35 a pack. So that's a good deal. Somebody had asked me to check on the Kirkland Organic Diced Tomatoes. They do have them here. It's eight 14 and a half ounce cans for $7.99. And they also have the Organic Tomato Paste here for $8.49 for 12 6 ounce cans. 
A little pricey, but somebody asked about it, so I wanted to point it out for you. They also have the Rotel diced tomatoes here with the green chilies. Eight 10 ounce cans for $6.99. That's awesome. Making them less than a dollar a can. Another sale I found here, they do have the Swanson 12 pack of chicken broth. This one is the 33% less sodium. That's the only one I see. I don't see the regular here. Um, but that is $5.89, down from $8.49 on sale. And they have the Kirkland Signature Organic Chicken Stock, which is right here. Six 32-ounce containers of it for $10.99. Uh, that's not too bad. And the Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup, 12 10 and a half ounce cans, $9.89. Now that is down from $12.49. This is the only Campbell's that they have. They don't have chicken noodle soup. They don't have tomato soup. They don't have cream of chicken. This is it. And I have looked everywhere. One thing I always recommend is check the dates on everything. And I did the last time I bought these Terra chips here. Because that's a pretty good deal. 20 ounce bag of them for $6.99. Now I just wanted to let you all know that I bought this bag. And they were all stale. Every one of them. So I'll never buy this big of a bag again. Um... It was, it was, you know, I, I ate a fair amount of them, but yeah, this, they were all stale. Just wanted to let you guys know that because I know we got some fans on the channel here of these chips. I would just stick with the smaller bag. So if they are all stale, at least you're not spending a lot. And $7 for 20 ounces is good, good deal. But if they're all stale, then it's obviously not worth it. Somebody was asking about Pringles. Um, these are the small cans, kind of the same kind they have at Sam's Club, and they are $19.99. Um, I don't know what the total total weight, 49.2 ounces. So if you want to do the math on that, it is 36 of the smaller cans. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just kind of quick thinking if it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cans. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest with you. I remember a while back, somebody was asking if I have seen the Great Lakes chips. Now, it, you didn't ask about Costco. You just asked if I'd seen Great Lakes chips, the kettle cooked ones. They have them here at Costco. I just walked past this. I was like, wait a minute. Somebody asked me about this a long time ago. They are $5.49. I got to say, it's a pretty big bag. Well, that is all the time I have at Costco today. Um, place was really packed. It was shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't get to a lot of the things that I wanted to today. I wish they would have had more of the Thanksgiving items up front. To be honest, they didn't really have a great variety of Thanksgiving items. I was kind of surprised. I thought it would be more like Sam's Club where they have everything up front like that. No, they didn't. We saw a couple things on the end caps. Glad we were able to get to some of the things that you guys have asked about, uh, like the produce. Some of the people were wanting to check on the meats and everything like that. Glad we were able to get to that. Uh, yeah, the, the quality of meat at Costco is really good. I would probably put it a little bit above Sam's Club. The pies, we got to the pies. A little pricey for some of those, but the pumpkin pie, $5.99, you can't beat that. Uh, the produce, about the same as Sam's Club. It's, you know, like I was saying earlier in the video, it's kind of like the prices are about the same as they are at all grocery stores, some a little more. Great trip to Costco though. I really do like Costco, but again, it was shoulder to shoulder. I, I don't get very claustrophobic, but I gotta tell you, it was hard to get around. I've never seen so many people in such a big store like that. Let me know down below if your Costco gets that busy. I may have to plan a day here during the week, like maybe a Tuesday or Wednesday early afternoon, because I feel like a lot of people shop here in the morning especially on the weekend. There are a lot of items that are worth stocking up on at Costco. Again, this is our third trip to Costco ever, so there are still things that I need to explore and check out some of their brands, Kirkland brands, different things like that. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember, the adventure is out.